Hey guys, what's going on today? PWKF30 here with another review for you. Uh, actually, this I, I haven't read any of these yet, but I am following the current arcs right now going on, or checking out new ones. Now, everyone that knows me, obviously since you know I love MK and horror movies, you know, you know I have a, I like darker stuff, morbid stuff. Marvel isn't that dark in my opinion, at least compared to DC. Images has some darker stories out there. I just it's usually like uh, kind of like barbaric woman and you know usually like zombie stuff. DC even has a zombie uh, a, a series now. I think it's called uh, oh what the hell is it called? I don't know if it's called Lot or Zot or something. I don't know. I got I got to I'll get back to you guys on that. But it's up to issue five. Uh, I'm I'm gonna pick those up probably once the volume comes out because they create volumes of everything now. Volume is pretty much like issues 1 through 6 or 1 through 7 and then the volume 2 is like 7 through 12 or so on and so forth. Uh, they do that with everything now. Um, <clears throat> so pretty much that's what I'm going to do with that series from DC Comics. It's like the Walking Dead type of series where it's like zombies taking over the world and humans, you know. Uh, being resistance, the only resistance to it, and you know, they just kill everybody that's a zombie, more or less. I don't know the exact story with it, but obviously it's not like The Walking Dead in the, in the respect that when you die, you turn into a zombie. So I don't know, you know, the act, the, I don't know the fact, every, all, every, all the facts concerning that story. But, um, it looks good. Anyway, I'll check that out in the future, probably, but... I picked this up since I love Vert Vertigo, who is owned by DC Comics. For those of you that are familiar with comics, uh, you guys maybe you've seen Watchmen and Constantine and V for Vendetta. Those are written by Vertigo, and they were all pretty good. Not bad movies too. They're pretty good movie transitions, I gotta say. Um, what do you call it? You know, the transition from book to movie. Some of them just suck, but those were pretty good, I thought. Anyway, so these are darker stories that I was asking the comic book guy about. And they pretty much recommended these from Vertigo. Uh, these are newer, not new new, but newer uh, stories out now. Um, this one, a few guys I spoke to in the store recommended. And every time I go, I was actually going to buy it yesterday, scalped, but it was all sold out. Uh, that These are all darker stories. You got Scalped, you got Crossing Midnight, you got Loveless, The Exterminators. Jack of Fables, Army of Love, Army at Love, uh, what do you call it, um, let's see here, DMZ, yeah, and you know, they show you a little bio of what it's about, see, I like, you know, darker stories, generally speaking, and even right now with normal DC Comics with the Justice League and Tr uh, you know, uh, Trinity War, it's very dark. So, let me show you what I picked out. So, these are just like previews of first cuts of like, you know, the first chapters of each of those books. You know, just to tease the fans. So, give you a little preview and whatever one you like, you just, you buy it. So, this book is pretty thick. You know, again, they give you like seven slices from comics, sharpest imprint, uh, you know, of these stories, all for five dollars. 192 pages of five dollars. Can't beat that. So, you know, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, that's a, that's a great bargain. So, let's move that aside now, and I'll go over what I got yesterday, because I, I go over to Comic Shop Monthly, because I follow a lot of series right now. So, I got Superman Earth 1, haven't gotten Volume 2 though yet, but I read it. Uh, I got this uh, one day, a long time ago, the free comic, somewhere in that pile there of my comics. I got it, I'm going to buy a bin, just put them all in there. Um, but this is Batman. Earth One, Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. I didn't read it yet, outside of, like I said, the first free issue, and I liked it, so... Plus, everyone in the store recommended it, so... If you're a Batman fan, I heard this is great. I loved Superman Earth One. That was just epic. It reminded me a lot of Smallville, in a lot of ways. Um, kind of like a reboot, you know? So, yeah, this is the hardcover, which, right now, I believe that's all it comes in. So, at least, that's what they told me. So, got that to check out. See what else I got here. It's just a little short thing. Superior Carnage. Now, 
when my friend Rich sees this, he's going to be shocked probably that I got this because, you know, he prefer uh, he and a couple of my other friends they prefer Marvel, whereas I prefer DC more. Uh, also, along with some other friends that prefer DC, though they like me, but you know, it's all preferences, you know. But I kind of like this character. He's kind of a darker character, and he's a serial killer. So I figured, oh, Carnage has his own series now. Cool. So I got to check that out. So this is volume one. Uh, excuse me, issue one, Superior Carnage. Brand new. So yeah, I'm gonna check that out. So for these those uh, Marvel fans, you may want to check that out, and Spider-Man fans. See what else I got here. Oh yeah, issue four of Sex. Now it, I know what you're thinking. It's not like a porno comic. It's actually um, more of an adult thriller comic. Uh, kind of. If you guys ever seen that movie Basic Instinct or Fatal Attraction, think of it. It's kind of like that. You know, where, yes, it has sex involved, but it's kind of like, you know, it's about a cop who, you know, somebody's, like, watching him pretty much, and, you know, he's, uh, doing his routine with investigating and all that stuff, and he's kind of all in the middle of this stuff, you know? One of his friends is, like, the owner of a sex club, so, yeah, pretty much, uh, it's like that, you know? Not for kids, you know? But more, if, uh, just like the Vertigo, these are also, it even says these are for mature right here. Uh, yeah. Modern horror, crime fiction, dark fantasy, science fiction, comics and books for mature readers. So, Vertigo, stories, and believe me, I checked some of them out. They are kind of, uh, they do have like foul language and brutal stuff that you won't normally see in typical DC comics or Marvel comics. Same thing with this. By the way, sex is done by Image. Image, uh, company that does Spawn, for those of you wondering. Um, let's see here. Other new stuff I got. Batman Superman, issue 2. New 52. I have issue 1, it was great. Can't wait to read this. So, looking forward to that. And then on the back, advertised, uh, Fight the Future, Flash Paradox, which I actually have right over there. Oh, look at that. And the DVD comes out next Tuesday, so... I will review that next, and I will go into how I got that before other people. <laughs> okay. Also got issue 22, Justice League, and the beginning of Trinity War, part one. Now, I read some spoilers accidentally, unfortunately, but I heard it's great so far. People die. Stuff happens. This is, uh... Yeah, oop, it's part three, sorry. It's part two. Justice League of America. It's pretty much like spread out throughout three different series. The Justice League, Justice League of America, and Justice League Dark. All Trinity War this month. So, this is part two. JLA. And this is part three. Part three of six. Justice League Dark. So yeah, it's going to continue, you know, throughout all three of them. It's supposed to be a tie-in with, like, Constantine, but, yeah. So, that's all the comics I got. Oh, yeah, one more before I forget. Superman, also, issue two, Superman Unchained. Very cool, kind of like a, you know, again, another Superman story, like a fresh take on the character. Uh, not much is revealed yet, but the first part ended with a cliffhanger, so I can't wait to read this. I'll be reading these, uh, right after I make this video, actually. So, I might get back with reviews on them. Probably not, but I may mention them when I reviewed that, which I'm going to also watch now. So, got a lot of DC stuff, a lot of comic stuff to keep me busy for a while. And stay tuned, guys. Um, yeah. So, you guys like darker stuff? I would definitely recommend this stuff now. Uh, for all ages, I would go with the Justice League, Trinity War, Carnage, stuff like that, Batman. For more mature audiences, I would go with the Vertigo stuff and the sex. Um, so, yeah. Uh, there's even more stuff out there, like Walking Dead comics, Kick-Ass, and, uh, whatchamacallit, zombie comics, really. So, if you guys are just into, like, you know, slasher, horror comics, you can buy those, and, uh, or you could just check out these titles from Vertigo and, uh, Image, you know. So, yeah. Alright, well, that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and, uh, stay tuned. Be, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Later.